The advice I can give young people is to recruit your mom. I'm a great example of that. And I may not have a huge network, but I knew that my mother did. And I went to her and got her to, to look at the opportunity. And that's all you need to do is get them to just take time to look at it. And if you do that, you're going to see quite a bit of success. I went into the meeting just to protect my son or just to find out what kind of opportunity had been presented to him. Uh, but within that one hour, watching Chris Chambliss uh, do the uh, compensation plan, I didn't understand it. I didn't um, really realize the magnitude of it. But with all those different businesses and numbers, I just said, this is a whole lot of money and uh, I knew it was ground floor and energy, a product that everybody uses. So um, my son David and I, um, after that hour meeting, we raced home and he was the first one that signed up and I think I come like one or two minutes after him. That was August 7th, 06, and we have not looked back since. What really sold me on the Ambit opportunity uh, was the residual income. Uh, I, I looked at it as my retirement. So the first thing that came to my mind when I actually saw the compensation plan was, this is my retirement. I, I just knew it. What I saw with the Ambert Opportunity was that I could tell someone how to save money on electricity and get paid, not one time, but over and over and over, month after month, year after year. So what I really focused on, not only re residual income or retirement for me, was that, wow, this is a way that I could pass on a legacy to my children. I could actually uh, pass this business on to my children. Little did I know that I wouldn't be passing it on to them, but that my whole family would be in the business. One of the first people that sh I shared it with was uh, actually David's older brother, who wa in, was at a corporate job and worked you know, 60, 70 hours a week, six days a week, had gotten married, and had just had a little baby, my grandchild. In my, in my other job, I was successful at it. And you get into a, a spot where you're comfortable, you're doing what you're doing, you're good at what you're doing, and you really don't think you need to do other things. But as we know, everything in life doesn't stay the same all the time. Things change. And when things change, you know, you've got to be able to change with them. So having that first baby changed my my view on how things went and after having her that's when I realized that I needed to do something that could free up my time. Pretty soon it was just a lot of excitement around the house just two grown sons talking about a business ever went over dinner and over uh, lunch or wherever we were at and I have a 20 year old son and a 19 year old daughter and both in college and uh, they just started seeing um, and hearing about the opportunity and wanted to be part of it. Teamwork is, is everything in this business. The way the business is set up is if you just did everything underneath yourself and tried to be a glory hog type of person, you're not going to be successful in this business. The way this business is set up is to become successful, you help other people become successful. Working with your family um, is really awesome. I mean, I think uh, that would be a parent's dream to be able to work and side by side with their grown children. I mean, I'm honored and privileged to be a mother and have my grown sons in business and work together. It's a challenge being a young person. Majority of us may or may not go to college, but a lot of times you'll go to college, you'll, you'll rack up college debt, and then you're trying to go out into the workforce and, and find a job. And what happens is, is you get a job and you're just, just being able to pay your bills. And there's never that real promise of, of getting above that unless you work 30 or 40 years to do that. And so uh, being a young person, you can get into this thing and, and in a year or two years build that residual income that comes in and, and really take off with the business. And, and what's neat is that uh, the opportunity um, exists for everyone. It doesn't matter if you, you know, have a college background or... It doesn't, this business doesn't care about your background or what, what you know or who you know. It just, it just says, hey, if you go out there and work hard, um, they're going to pay you for it. I just see this as a way for my children, all four of my grown children, to be financially free. I didn't get to learn that at 20 or 25, unfortunately. 
just a few years ago, we all were doing our own thing. My husband's got his contracting business. I have my sales job, and kids are in college, and David's doing financial, and Aaron's. We could hardly get together. I mean, a holiday was like a total uh, hard thing to do because of everybody's schedule. Well, I'll tell you what. Nobody in Ambit this past year has missed a birthday party. Nobody has missed a vacation. Nobody has missed anything. A fun thing to do as a family uh, that we found enjoyable, believe it or not, uh, is bowling. Uh, we will just go for hours and have the best time. But now, being in the Ambit family, we can raise our grandchildren and, and be a big part of their lives that we um, otherwise would not be able to. And when you build up your residual income with Ambit, you're able to start doing things you're passionate about. And that's one thing uh, I like to, to tell everyone that's new in the business. Make a goal. Why, why is it that you're joining Ambit? And what are you wanting to do with that? And as you put your goals together and you work to accomplish them, it's going to take a little bit of work. But once you've d done that work, you can start living life on your own terms. Now I get to see, see my baby every day, do things around the house, plan things, help my wife more, so it's been really, really awesome. Because the Ambit opportunity is available to anybody that chooses it. 